so here he is, the emotionless, stoic Fedor Emelianenko, and fans have wondered aloud. Would he come to the UFC? How would he fare once he got here? Those questions get answers tonight. John, you said stoic, but when you watch Emelianenko walk to the octagon, all you're missing is like snow coming down <laughs> and it getting real dark, and everybody's kind of walking with the big Russian hat because he just is that unknown that we have all wanted to kind of get a beat on. But what we do know is that this guy can absolutely fight. He's got tremendous wrestling, grappling, and unbelievable knockout power. Look for Fedor to try to end the night of his opponent career. At one point, he was 31 and one in MMA. Fedor Emelianenko still regarded as the greatest heavyweight of all time. into the octagon this time he wants to leave with that championship belt So here's the undisputed UFC lightweight champion and one of the very best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world, Islam Makhachev. He trained alongside this man for years. He has every skill in the book. And the X Factor tonight is that his brother and his brother. Yeah, that's one of his, his brothers is what they call him. Islam Makhachev, though, is the guy that really does strike fear in so many lightweights' minds. He's a guy that possesses wrestling ability. He's a guy that possesses striking ability. The grappling is second to none. And just his size and physicality is so difficult to deal with. He is a tremendous fighter, and he will be pushed even more forward with the presence of his good friend, Hasbun. You do wonder, though, if the opposing corner is a little bit intimidated given Hasbun's presence <laughs> in the Nakasha corner. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Avon! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Avon! The veteran Herbert Dino referee for this one. Ready. Ready. All right, here we go. Up for grabs tonight the title of baddest man on the planet as we get set to crown a UFC heavyweight champion. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Man, this is crazy thus far. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. That guillotine is tight. Submission defense. All right, so he can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. He's doing a really good job of putting himself in position. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. All right, side control now. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Couple minutes gone by round one. Fedor Emelianenko getting work from the top here. He's got to do a better job to cover up. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? 
Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pounds. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Islam Makashev. Let's start to pull your legs through past the half guard. It's really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Makashev's right back to the full mount. For a submission here. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, D. Under a minute to go in our opening round. A series of punches from the top here by Fader. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Oh, good ground and pound here. Another ground and pound strike lands. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you wanna be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke right, submissions. Take a seat. Deep breath. Takedowns were great that one. All right, let's look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about just the efficiency when it comes to the ground and pound game? He was able to throw at the right time, secure at the right time. He wasted no action. For me, this is the most exciting type of fight. A guy that is just dominating his opponent, really truly putting the grind on his opponent Ready from fight. the top position. Ready. All right, second round underway. Him with the straight. Nice job there by Emilian Enko. Oh! oh, he is stunned. Jump driving out there. We'll see if he can recover. Oh, with authority, the body. Swing and a miss with that punch by Faber. Trading huge shots. Let's see. He's going to be the last man standing. Oh, nice body shot. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Emilianenko's now dealing with a cheap cut. inside that closed guard. Look at him, he's setting up the choke now. Look at that, he's setting it up. That's it, pretty deep. Oh, man, that was slick. Nice shot there by the champ. Standing over his opponent here and making these strikes count. Beautiful sequence there by Islam Natasha. Great shot from the top position. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangle. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Oh, that rear leg choke is tight. Oh, submission defense holds up and down. There it is, now he's going to mount. Well, he has expended a lot of energy going for these submissions tonight. I'm not sure his opponent is actually submittable. No, it doesn't seem like it because every time he goes for a submission, he gets close, or at least he expects to get close. But his opponent is so on his game that he's not giving him much to work with. This has been a beautiful display of grappling offensively, but also defensively. Emilianenko's eye appears to be closing up by the second. having his way with him here. 
Oh, great job by him there to reverse things and get the dominant position. All right, so Emilianenko is looking to go from the full to the half guard here. Opponent not having it. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many more of these shots, this fight is going to be stopped due to the swell. You ready to fight? You ready? Good. Round three of a possible five. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Oh, how good is that jab by Islam Akasha? Lands a huge right hand. So Emilianenko's shot is blocked. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. He's got that single collar tie locked in. Oh, the accuracy to land right there. His opponent's wobble chip. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh, spinning back fist lands. Back and forth we go. This is not good. Mounted crucifix, all that body. Now he's looking arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get enough pressure to finish his technique. He's doing a great job of recognizing that he's damaging his opponent, and he keeps going to that spot. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Good, solid strike on the ground. Another ground and pound strike lands. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Quick hip movement there, and he does indeed get back to his feet. Nicely done. Oh, man, I'm sorry to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown attempts. All right, so Emilianenko's eye does not look real good right now. It actually is starting to swell shut, so that will be something that bears watching as this fight continues. He's work. Stand it up. He's work. Makashev's in half guard now. Look at that. Recognize he was about to lose position. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. So 30 seconds in the round. Nice shots landing from the top position. And right into side control. These ground strikes are starting to add up. And how much more can he take? Oh, oh, so wow. Saved by the bell. He was getting grounded and pounded something fierce there near the end of the round. You see, it's going to take him a good chunk of these 60 seconds between rounds just to get back to his feet. So a big moment here at the end of the round. We'll see if he can recover in time to make the walk here for this next round. All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cup. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five. And a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to
Camacho for the setup here. DC, I know you don't pay your bets, but you bet your 100 bucks to go for another takedown here. If I don't pay... He's absolutely getting after it. Huge shots landing on both sides. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Oh, he jumped guillotine right away. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back out. his mouth. That swelling area, that area that's all swollen continues to get worse every time he gets hit there. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Good work from the top here by Islam Akasha. Under three minutes to go in round four. Oh, he is masked in blood. I think I can actually pick out his blood type from here. Where's the doctor? Big right hook there by the champ. Now potentially working on a submission instead. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Tight. Oh, gives up on the submission now. We'll see where he goes from here. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Well, this is getting hard to watch, and sometimes you hear us say a fighter is too tough for their own good. Anybody want to save this athlete right now? Yeah, this is, this is a classic case of that, where a guy is just too tough. He's not going to win this fight. He may as well throw in the towel. I mean, this corner can stop it. The referee can stop it. The doctor can stop it. Somebody needs to do something because this fight is over. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Emilianenko. And another one. Another strike from the top lands for him. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Fighter trying to pass here, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. All right, we're going to stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. All right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here are some replays from the damaging previous round. Well, he's got to. He's got to change some things if he doesn't want this cut to get worse. But hats off to his opponent. His opponent found the target. His opponent knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish, and he got it done. He's got to continue down the path in order to make the cut worse. You ready to fight? Ready. It is the fifth and final round. find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, she's tasked with trying to find that shot again. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Emilianenko. It's getting really hard to watch him absorb shot. Oh, and he locks up the triangle now. You set off the top. His go-to submission looks pretty tight to me. Oh, and if he's got you in there, then you know that you're in a lot of trouble. He's starting to shift the arm across. If he gets it across, he's going to start pulling down on the head, really getting the squeeze, trying to get the submission victory. Now it's tight. There it is. He a needs fighter to better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Islam Akasha. Now he's got a good body position, yup. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Islam Makashev. Oh, heavy 
shots raining down. Great defense by the defensive fighter. All right, so Emelianenko's cut on his cheek is nasty. Thank God these guys are tough, because that thing will not stop bleeding at this point in time. Like 90 seconds now to go in this one. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Islam Akasha. One minute to go in the fight. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. Oh, these ground strikes are just brutal. Great submission defense on this play tonight. Final seconds of the fight. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. What a fight! 25 minutes turned in. All right, so they came in unquestionably the two best in the world in this division, and they showed you exactly why here tonight. A lot of people may think the challenger did enough for me, slightly into the champion to retain his title. I agree with you, John. I thought the champion did just enough to keep his belt. And this has nothing to do with you got to beat the champ to get the belt. No, the champion outworked him in the big spots, and he should retain his title. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Islam Makachev. So there he is, and still the baddest man on the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. It wasn't everyone's expectation that it would go the full 25 minutes here tonight, but whatever it takes is what he said during fight week, and that's exactly what he needed here tonight. After five rounds, the heavyweight champion remains the same. Congratulations to the baddest man on the planet.